I wanted to give you a really quick demo of a gadget that I created in Second Life a few years ago. It's by far my biggest selling item in my store, Cooltech, but there's still a lot of you, I'm sure, that haven't seen it or haven't heard of it, and I wanted to show you what it can do. What it is is a way to create an in-world album of textures, just like you'd put images into a scrapbook and be able to have an album then that you can open and turn the pages on. It's the same idea in Second Life. You compile a list of images into the album maker, including a front and back cover page if you want, and even an edge page for the binder. Then you generate the album and it will let you turn the pages in world. You can also wear it as a HUD so that you can look at it that way. I'm going to just create a very simple album for you using it. And to do this, I'm going to use four images. There's a sample cover page, which is just called My Favorite Beach Spots, and then three snapshots that I took at different places of beach scenes. Okay, to start out, we're going to turn on the album maker. Now, this is more of an eye candy thing. You don't necessarily have to turn on anything in Second Life, but I think it looks cool. So click the power button. It powers up. You notice that the slot for the number one image is in yellow. That indicates it's the active image. So if, if I put an image into the album maker right now, it's going to go into that slot. We're going to actually start out with the front page. So I'm going to come up here and click on front at the very top. That turns that yellow. Now I'm going to go to my inventory. I'm going to click on the sample cover page. I'm going to hold down my control key and drag the image over to the texture drop field. You have to hold down control. That's just a Second Life feature if you need to drop a texture onto an object that you don't have modify rights for. So let up on it once you have it there. The image will go onto the front page. It will advance, in this case, to the edge, which is the next one to the right. I don't have an edge or back page image, so I'm just going to go straight to number one. So I'll click on page one. I'll go to the first image that I have in my inventory, hold down control, drag it onto the texture drop area. As you can see, it goes onto page one. And the yellow highlight advances to page two. Go to my second image, click and drag, drop it onto the texture drop field. Image three, I'll do the same thing. Since it auto advanced to page three, drag, holding down the control key again. So now I have a front page and I have three images for my album. That's all that I had to do. So I can come down here now. I'm gonna pull back the display so you can see. Before I can generate the album, I have to give it a name. I do that by clicking this area in the upper left of the album maker called click here to set album name and description. Clicking that will give me a dialogue. Ask me what to change. I want to change the name. So I click name. Okay, then it's telling me to just enter the album name in chat. So I'm going to put in here my favorite beach spots. And press enter. All right, that assigns a name. I'm not going to worry about a description, so now I can just click finish. Okay, the album gets generated in the upper right corner. By default, it has hover text appearing over the spine to give you instructions. You can disable those if you don't want them. I can just open the album from here by clicking on it. And let me get, the, get this positioned and close this out. Okay, so I have first two images. Again, this is very chatty as far as the, uh, the floating text goes. You, you have control over whether you want that or not. Then I can click the page to turn the page. I can, there's page number three. I can go back by clicking on the left-hand side, and it'll start turning the pages in reverse order. 
There's a menu here I can click on if I want to do other things like go to the first directly to the last um, or I'll just close the album and click close. And then if I if I like what I have here, I can go ahead and right click and I can say take. And then I can do what I want with the album. So that's just a quick demo of how to make a very simple album using this. In future videos, I will show you how to do editing on albums, how to save your album and then be able to bring it back in for editing later, and a few other little goodies along the way.